Hello, today I'll discuss about the blood supply at the gallbladder. I will discuss the arterial supply, venous drainage, lymphatic drainage. I'll also discuss about the nerve supply of the gallbladder. The gallbladder is mostly supplied by the cystic artery and it also get contribution from the posterior superior pancreatic retinal artery, right hepatic artery, sometimes from an accessory cystic artery. But the cystic artery is the main artery for the gallbladder and it is usually a branch of the right hepatic artery. So if we go there to the this PowerPoint here, we are looking at this is this abdominal aorta. It has a ventral branch called the celiac trunk. And celiac trunk has three branches, left gastric artery, splenic artery, and the common hepatic artery. From common hepatic artery, we are getting the gastrointestinal artery. Then its name is hepatic artery proper. Hepatic artery proper has two branches, the left hepatic artery, right hepatic artery. In the right hepatic artery, we got a branch called cystic artery. There is the main artery supplying the gallbladder. Venous drainage, the veins from the gallbladder is drained, are, are drained into the segmental portal vein. The superior surface of the gallbladder is drained by veins which penetrate the liver and joins the hepatic sinusoid ultimately to the hepatic vein. Other part of the gallbladder is drained by one or two cystic vein which open, opens into the liver. The cystic vein may open into the right branch of the, of the portal vein, vein that may happen rarely. The veins from the lower part of the bile duct open into the portal vein. So venous drainage is directly the vein go to the substance of the liver or the vein, especially from the duct area, lower part of the ductal system bile duct, it goes through the portal vein. So we are looking at the artery. This is our gallbladder. This is the cystic artery. It should be a branch of the right hepatic artery. Right hepatic artery is a branch of the hepatic artery proper. Hepatic artery proper is a continuation of the common hepatic artery. Common hepatic artery is a branch of the celiac trunk. And celiac trunk is the ventral branch of the abdominal aorta for the four gut derivatives. This is the gastrointestinal artery up to this the common hepatic artery beyond that this is the hepatic artery proper okay and the cystic artery is a branch of the right hepatic artery but it may arise from the hepatic artery proper or it may arise from the gastrointestinal artery so if you look at the branches this is the celiac trunk this is the celiac trunk splenic artery left gastric artery common hepatic artery, hepatic artery proper, left hepatic artery, right hepatic artery, and this is the cystic artery for the gallbladder. <coughs> so veins, if you look inside the liver, what happens in the liver? The liver, in that portal hepatis, the portal vein break down. We have the hepatic artery proper that also divides okay so blood will go to the hepatic sinusoid from the sinusoid blood will return back to the inferior vena cava by means of the hepatic vein our gallbladder is underneath the surface or on the visceral surface so from the superior part of the gallbladder the vein penetrate inside the liver and go to the hepatic sinusoid from the duct area especially lower part of the bile duct it follow the portal vein. This is the portal vein formed by the union of the splenic vein and superior mesenteric vein. It enters the liver through the portal hepatis, then it divides. And the hepatic vein pick up blood from the 
or the for, from the hepatic sinusoids opens into the inferior vena cava. If you go to the lymphatic drainage of the gallbladder, the lymph is drained to the cystic lymph node. Then that is go that goes to the then the lymph goes to the hepatic lymph node, ultimately going to the ciliar lymph node that is present around the ciliar trunk area. Gallbladder and the upper bile duct pass to the cystic node. Okay, so the lymph from the gallbladder and upper bile duct pass to the cystic node. Cystic node is located in the angle between the cystic and common hepatic duct in the calorous triangle. I have one video on calorous triangle. I request everyone to go through that video, YouTube video of calorous triangle. Some lymph reaches to nodes in the free edge of the lesser omentum. Lesser omentum is located along the lesser curvature of the stoma. The lymphatics from the lower bile duct open into the lower hepatic and upper pancreatico splenic lymph node. Now we'll go to the nerve supply. Nerve supply from the hepatic plexus of nerves. Hepatic plexus of nerve is a derivative of ciliar plexus. Hepatic plexus receives fiber from the ciliar plexus. Left and right vagal trunks. These are contributed mostly by the left vagus nerve and right vagus nerve. They are coming from the esophageal plexus, left and right vagal trunks, and by the right phrenic nerve. Remember, not the left phrenic nerve. Okay, because right phrenic nerve contributes in the hepatic plexus, it enters to the hepatic plexus from the thorax through the through the vena cava opening of the diaphragm. The parasympathetic nerve stimulation contracts the gallbladder muscle and, and relaxes the sphincter. So the collection of the gallbladder will go down through the cystic duct, then to the common bile duct, ultimately going to the second part of the duodenum. So we have the parasympathetic stimulation contracts the gallbladder and relaxes the sphincter, the sphincter of ordi or the hepatopancreatic sphincter in the second part of the duodenum that will be open. Sympathetic constricts the vessel and the sphincter. So it is vasoconstrictor and it will close the sphincter. Okay. But both sympathetic and parasympathetic function is regulated by another hormone local hormone called cholecystokinin, CCK, that is coming out of the duodenum. So that controls the autonomic innervation to the gallbladder, sympathetic and parasympathetic. So this is very important, cholecystokinin. Pain from the gallbladder is a very common condition because gallbladder is a site of lot of pathology. It, it may have stone, we call it cholelithiasis. It may be inflamed, we call it cholecystitis. So there may be stone, cholelithiasis, there may be inflammation, cholecystitis. So the person will have pain, patient will have pain. So pain sensation from the gallbladder is carried by the vagus nerve. There is the parasympathetic, sympathetic nerve and by the phrenic nerve. Phrenic nerve is somatic that is coming out of the cervical plexus, C3, C4, C5, okay. Irritation of the somatic peritoneum causes pain in the right upper quadrant of the abdomen. So it's because the gallbladder is located and the liver is located in the right upper quadrant. So local Peritoneum, if it is irritated, will have pain at that place. We we'll get the Murphy sign. Okay. Referred pain 
is important from the gallbladder pain may be referred referred in many in in different way via the vagus nerve to the central epigastrium person may complain pain is coming from his stomach area from the epigastrium via the sympathetic nerve to the inferior angle of the right scapula via the right phrenic nerve somatic afferent to the right shoulder right shoulder because its dermatome is c3 c4 c5 and phrenic nerve pick up sensation pain sensation so we may have pain on the shoulder we may have pain in the inferior angle of the scapula we may have pain in the abdomen just in the epigastric region okay now we'll face some viva question what is the arterial supply of the gallbladder answer should be cystic artery branch of what usually it is a branch of the right hepatic artery what is the venous drainage of the gallbladder the vein from the superior surface of the gallbladder goes to the liver substance directly and enters the hepatic sinusoid from hepatic sinusoid it will be drained to the hepatic vein then to the inferior vena cava okay from the ductal system of the gallbladder they will follow the portal vein and portal vein enters the liver through the porta hepatis what is the lymphatic drainage of the gallbladder okay from the cystic lymph node that is present in the calorous triangle okay then it will go to the hepatic lymph node from hepatic lymph node lymph will go to the celiac lymph node we must know the boundary and contents of calorous triangle i will request everyone to look at my youtube video about calorous triangle okay what is the nerve supply of the gallbladder okay sympathetic parasympathetic somatic sympathetic from the from the t7 to t9 segment of spinal cord okay so via the celiac plexus okay also getting contribution from the vagal trunk anterior vagal trunk posterior vagal trunk those are coming from the left vagus nerve right vagus nerve from the esophageal plexus so esophageal plexus celiac plexus then we we'll go to the to the cystic plexus okay and the phrenic nerve also contribute in the formation in the innervation of the gallbladder contribute to the cystic plexus how the phrenic nerve enters the the abdomen this is the right phrenic nerve not the left phrenic nerve right phrenic nerve enters the abdomen from the thorax through the vena cava opening of the diaphragm and it pick up sensation pain sensation from the gallbladder to the shoulder shoulder to the tip of the shoulder because dermatome here is c3 c4 and uh, phrenic nerve root value is also c3 c4 c5 okay what are the sites of referred pain in gallbladder yes if it is carried by the vagus nerve then pain will be in the epigastrium if it is carried by the sympathetic nerve it will be to the inferior angle of the right scapula if it is carried by the phrenic nerve then it should be on the on the top of the right shoulder okay what is the role of sympathetic parasympathetic nerve in referred pain we just discussed what is the role of phrenic nerve in the innervation of gallbladder yes what is the root value of phrenic nerve c3 c4 c5 it contribute in the in the cystic plexus it enters the abdomen through the vena cava opening of the diaphragm and that's all about the the today's discussion if you like my video please support my channel please subscribe me share the information with your friends if you have any question please feel free to ask me and have a nice day bye now